He would not give us a broadside shot. You don't, you don't have to panic when the bear's climbing the tree. That's where I was supposed to be that day. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This not, week... Not do it, just once, I mean... Please. This week we're heading to Manitoba. We're going to Adrenaline Outfitters. We're going to go bearing down. Where exactly is Manitoba? Uh, I know this answer. Between Ontario and Saskatchewan. Uh, you've been practicing that. I have been practicing that. This week's lucky logo? Yes, True Glow. When true brightness glow. counts, count on True Glow. So look for the True Glow logo, and at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do with that. Yes, and you're going to win all kinds of cool prizes, not all only from True Glow, but a lot of others. All kinds. Okay. Yes. Manitoba. Manitoba. North. Adrenaline. North. That's north. North. Adrenaline. Russ Rod and the gang. Yes. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's go bear hunting. Lonnie and I had a great time hunting with Rod and Joel up at Adrenaline. One afternoon, Rod was walking us into a bait site when we noticed that there was already two bears on the bait and one of them was a really nice boar. We, got, we moved in closer and Rod told us that it is a beautiful bear, but he has stealth cam photos of a, of a true monster bear that's in that area. And since this was the first night we were gonna sit that bait, we didn't wanna booger our chances of seeing a true giant. We got in, we actually have three bears. We have two sows and a boar. That's just under six foot. We're not gonna drive for him. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna see a lot of bears because we already have three circling. It's gonna be a great night. We're, Bob, Rob wants us to shoot something over six foot. And Lonnie and I are like, that's a really beautiful bear right there. But we're gonna hold out for over six feet tonight. Beautiful day, sun shining, nice wind. And the bears are everywhere. <laughs> Lonnie and I hadn't been settled in the tree very long when we noticed that right above the bait there was a sow and two cubs that had been pushed up the tree by another bear. God bless the little things. It took her about an hour, but she finally got both those cubs down the tree and they took off. I guess there was just a few too many bears in that area. As the afternoon wore on, Lonnie and I were just watching these smaller bears as they come in and fed and they would fight a little bit and then they would take off. And one bear was sitting on the bait when we noticed that he stood up and just, just took off abruptly. We were hoping that there was a, a great bear coming in and within 20 seconds of that bear leaving, in walks this stud of a bear. As soon as he walked into sight, we knew that was the bear that Rob was targeting on that bait site. Yeah, that's a good one. 
We waited for him to settle down and he would just never give us the perfect shot to take. He would not give us a broadside shot and he would never let himself be out in the open. One of the things, if you want to use your thermosel, right, while you're bear for, hunting, also for an attractant, take your little blue pads mm -hmm. or your earth scent pads, and you could put a little like anise or you know smoke scent, just a little bit, just to get put that other scent going. Actually, on too. the pad, and what happens is that heat heats it up, and that scent goes out even more. So it actually works as almost like a scent dispenser, and keeping the bugs away. Pretty okay. cool. Oh, Daddy. He's going to keep something between us for a while. After a while, he was feeding and he, he, we noticed that he winded because his head came up and he winded just a little bit. He got up and walked out of sight and that's the last we saw of him. Here at Adrenaline Outfitters, we try to manage our bear herd similar to, to a trophy whitetail guy would manage his deer herd. We want to put an emphasis on taking out mature boars, uh, setting up our stands, paying attention to wind, not hunting, over hunting the stands, not hunting the stands in the wrong situations, and trying to give our hunters the opportunity to take uh, a bear of a lifetime rather than just another average bear. We want to keep our numbers small, the number of hunters per week small, so that we can concentrate on really hunting the best areas we can, and that way we'll, we'll keep the quality up and our hunters will go home with a, with a trophy they can really be proud of. Okay, so now we're gonna join Harley. Yeah, let's join Harley. Let's join Harley. Back with adrenaline, see what happens. Our guys just dropped us off. We're in the Hilton. They're exactly right. This is a really neat little setup we got going on here. They rebated the site, and I absolutely cannot wait. This is my first bear hunt. We are bearing down in Mar Manitoba at Adrenaline Outfitters. It's around noon right now. We got our first bear at the bay. third night of our hunt and we're headed back to the Hilton. Actually on our way in, we noticed that there's bear at the bait. It's a chocolate bear, it's a really nice bear. Just wasn't quite what we wanted to get a shot at. So we just kind of waited out a little bit and that bear went off. It's a really cool looking bear, so a couple more years and that'll be, that'll be an awesome bear. <laughs> we got all of everything situated, camera equipment and everything, bows and everything. It wasn't 10 minutes later, we had a nice bear come up into the bait and looked at it for a while and decided that's, that's the one we're gonna shoot. Looked at the footage and Well, one of the things we're really proud to do here at Adrenaline Outfitters is offer a youth hunt. Russ and I, were family men and, and have young kids and we understand how important it is to get youth involved with the sport. And so what we've done is we've uh, allowed anybody that's coming up on a full price hunt can bring a youth with them, whether it's their son, daughter, granddaughter, grandson, you can bring them along and they can hunt for the cost of a tag. 
we enjoy having the youth up and, and that's the future of our sport. Keegan, I just want to congratulate you Thank on you. your first black bear. I Thank mean, you. as a guide and an outfitter, this is the most awesome thing to have you guys come up here and it's so important to get kids involved. Congratulations, you made a perfect shot. Thank you. Back with adrenaline. Let's go check what Harley does. Good boy, isn't that be, that be an awesome bear. The shot angle was a it was a hard corner and away shot. We looked at the footage and they decided that yes, that was that was a good shot. And since the shot was taken so early, let's go look for that bear tonight. Three more bull guys than I am. One of the rifle guys. It looks like it's pretty good. It's red, red. What do you think, Father? Long. And it wasn't 15, 20 yards down the trail from there, there the bear was. <laughs> what an exciting moment that was. Congratulations, Joe. Oh. Hey. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, man. Go, man. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> this, is a, this is a very quick hunt today. We came to our stand and before before we even got in it we there was a bear at the bait and we snuck up there and got a good look at it and it eventually went off so right after it went off we got up in, into the stand and got everything situated and it wasn't 10 minutes and this this big guy right here come in and eventually gave us a shot and that corner away shot and I was able to make it and it's my very first black bear and I could not be happier uh, we're hunting in Manitoba to join outfitters uh, I'd like to thank Rod, Darren, JR for having us up here and they did a really good track job and went about 120 yards. It didn't leave much of a blood trail. It didn't have an uh, exit, exit wound so it was a bit, of a bit of a job and they did a real great job. I couldn't be happier. Hey, the thing you've got to understand is when, a, when you're sitting up in the stand, you don't, you don't have to panic when the bear's climbing the tree. No, they're just curious. They want to come up, they see something up in that tree. Bears, subordinate bears, will usually climb a tree when a more dominant bear Either is going to Either run off in. or climb. Yeah, they're going to run off or climb a tree. So another bear is going to come in the area, they see a blob up in the tree, and they think it's a subordinate bear. They're going to climb up just to check it out and be curious. That's it. They're not coming up to eat you. And so don't panic. Don't take yeah. that shot because you think he's going to eat you because he's really not. I guess it doesn't matter so much if I don't get to go out spot of black that just didn't belong there. I guess it doesn't matter so much if I don't get to go out, you know, as long as we get to do this or that and, and it kind of gets bumped down the priority list. But there's that feeling when Russ says, you know, Shelly, today the winds are right, we should try to get out if we can. And we get everything together, head out to the bush, and as soon as you get out there, you know that it's not an option. It's something that is, is in you. And you, if you would just put it to the bottom of the list and not get out there, 
things wouldn't feel right. We could see sign, we had our trail cameras set up so we knew that there was lots of action there. And up in the tree stand, okay, let's just sit in and get ready, you know, this will be an eventful evening. And, and sure enough, it didn't take long before a bear did come in, but, and, and a nice one, I was actually already grabbing for my vixen, but he just never fully committed, turned around, walked away. And I wasn't too worried. I thought, well, you know what? You'll just circle around and come right back in. And that was it. The evening just died right down. And so Russ and I were just whispering to each other, saying like, hey, what is going on? Why is this happening? Why is everything so slow tonight? And as we were doing that, I could see some black coming through the poplars. You know, when you have that, the front of the bear, and then suddenly there's the back of the bear and it took a long time to go from the front to the back. It, I, I was already committed. I knew that that bear was long enough. I wanted to shoot it. I was committed and he was committed. He came right in. Russ was ready with the camera. I think he could pretty much tell from my actions. My legs were already shaking and I was trying to get the beam in to stop bouncing on my bow and everything just came together. He's still, he's still walking just at the edge of the bush there. Then as we slowly unpacked our stuff, getting ready to head out to the, the truck, uh, what was supposed to be a light sprinkle late in the evening uh, of rain turned into an, an ultimate downpour. Russ was quickly putting his backpack over the camera to keep it dry and, uh, and had to call it a night and went home. Well, we're back here the next morning. Hoping to uh, just follow the path, get the bear. The rain came just as we were climbing out of the tree yesterday. It came down pretty hard and we have a really good idea which direction he went. So now it's a matter of finishing what we started yesterday. The good news was Luke was excited that he got to come with us and help us on this trailing job. So we grabbed him and Russ and I and back off to the bush and followed what was a non-existent blood trail other than a little smear underneath a leaf every now and then. As we were just kind of gritting and keeping our eyes open, there was a spot of black that just didn't belong there. And that was it, it was my bear. And I had my two big tough guys with me to help you know, drag it out. I found my bear. <laughs> uh, I kind of, I kind of, you know. Yeah, I knew we'd find it, right? Here you find, buddy. I knew we would. This was a hunt that was just meant to come together between Russ's busy schedule and my schedule and Luke's schedule. The stealth cam photos were non-stop big bears and we just couldn't wait. And, uh, and now you can see why. I am so blessed that I can come out and spend time with my family and get to harvest a beautiful animal like this. It doesn't get better. The proof is in the pudding. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't just let the season go by and say, well, I can go out in the fall or I can go out next year. Um, that's where I was supposed to be that day. Congratulations, Shelly. That was really cool. I was, congratulations, Shelly. That was really cool. You repeat everything I say now? No, because I can't speak as fast as you and ramble on for hours like you always do. We want to thank Rod and Russ and all the guys up there at Adrenaline Outfitters for allowing us to keep coming up there year after year. Yes. It's awesome. I mean, every time they go up there, we fill tags. It's great. If you happen to see the Lucky Logo, which was True Glow this week. When brightness counts, count on True Glow. Thank you for inserting that. Log on to archerschoice.com, click on the Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great stuff from True Glow as well as from our other manufacturers. Yes. You going to talk at all? I don't know if I can. Go ahead. Spit it out. Next week. Yes. Buffet show. Buffet show. 13 years, it's a buffet show. We've got all kinds of critters going down. My gosh, all over. It's gonna be a huge buffet. Dear swine. 
some wine. <laughs> and gobblers. Okay, so thanks for joining this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's Choice. Archer. <laughs> some wine. <laughs>